hello everyone uh, welcome in the subject of uh, mechanical system design so here we are uh, designing the various components of ic engine so in a previous uh, session we completed the uh, design of uh, cylinder now uh, we will uh, move for the design of piston now a piston consists of uh, construction of piston that is it consists of the piston barrel then a piston ring next is a piston skirt and piston pin so these are the four elements are included in the design of the piston so first important parameter is the selection of the material for the piston so cast iron is the material selected for the piston for a good strength and wear resistance so it is denoted by fg 200 series so the cast iron is the material selected for the piston so first part is the piston head so we are going to design the piston head in that we are going to design the piston head by the thickness based on the strength so as we know the allowable stress sigma allowable is always equal to the uh, sut upon nf where sut is the ultimate uh, tensile strength or stress and nf is the factor of safety so in our design uh, of a piston uh, ultimate tensile strength or stress is uh, considered as a 200 newton per mm square while factor of safety is considered as a 5 now first we will see the diagrammatic representation or construction of flat head piston so here you can see the, the sectional view of piston head so this portion is a piston head uh, then uh, t ph is the thickness of piston head then you can see the compression rings compression rings uh, then uh, you can see the rib of the piston uh, head then this portion is called as a piston skirt that is a bottom of the piston then this is called as a piston barrel outside piston barrel then this is oil rings piston rings then uh, this uh, region is a piston pin boss then uh, this is also a rib for the flat head piston so this is the construction diagram for the piston head so as we know sigma allowable yes ut is a 200 newton per mm square and uh, nf factor of safety is a uh, 5 so we get the allowable uh, stress for the piston head equal to 40 mega pascal so the thickness based on strength therefore uh, thickness for piston head is calculated by using the formula uh, 0.433 into d into square root of p max by sigma allowable so here d is the diameter of the bore or cylinder diameter p max is the maximum pressure and sigma allowable is the allowable stress so putting the value of uh, d uh, which is a uh, considered or calculated in the design of the cylinder which is equal to the 100 then maximum pressure we assume it as a working pressure 3 newton per mm square and a sigma allowable we calculated as a 40 so putting the value all the values you will get the thickness of piston head equal to 11.85 so which is nearly equal to 12 therefore the thickness of piston head is equal to the 12 so we calculate the thickness of the piston head based on the strength means considering the uh, ultimate stress and uh, factor of safety now in next step uh, we calculate the thickness of the piston based on the heat dissipation so here as we know the brake power formula brake power is equal to pbm into l into a into m by 16 into 1000 so pbm is uh, given in the problem statement 0.21 into 10 to 6 newton per meter square 
So that will be 0.21 into 10 raised to 6 Newton per meter square. Then bore length of 110 into 10 raised to minus 3, that is 0.11 meter. Then area is equal to pi by 4 d squared. So pi by 4 into bore diameter 100. So we'll get the area 7.85 into 10 raised to minus 3 meter square. After putting all the values in the brake power formula, so brake power is equal to 7.55 kilowatt. Now, assume range for the power or range is equal to 0.2 kg per watt hour, kilowatt hour to 0.35 kilowatt kg per kilowatt hour for BSFC. So for petrol engine, it is equal to the 0.3 kg per kilowatt hour. Therefore, assume uh, caloric value equal to 44 megajoule per kg. For petrol or diesel engine, BSFC is equal to 0.3 by 3600. So that will be equal to 8.33 into 10 raised to minus 5. So the BSFC is equal to 8.33 into 10 raised to minus 5 kg per watt second. HCV is equal to 44 megajoule per kg. So as I mentioned, 40% of the total heat developed in the cylinder is absorbed by the piston. Then next one, X is equal to 0 0.04. Therefore, X is a factor we assume it as a 0 0.04. Then uh, therefore, the thickness of piston is based on the heat dissipation. The formula is X into base FC into brake power into HCV by 4 pi k delta T. So putting the, all the value, we will get the thickness of the piston head based on the heat dissipation equal to 8.61 into 10 raised to minus 3. K for cast iron metal is 46.5 watt per meter. Therefore, thickness of the piston based on the heat dissipation is a 9 mm. So we take uh, thickness of the piston head based on the heat dissipation equal to 12. Then next is the design of piston barrel. So the thickness of the piston barrel under ring is taken as a TPB is equal to TPH is equal to 12 mm. Next, as a TPH is a equal to 12, which is greater than the strip. Therefore, uh, reinforcing of the ring is required. Therefore, the number of size of reinforcing rib are assumed as a 4. Therefore, the thickness of each rib is equal to TR is equal to TPH by 3 or TPH by 2. So, it will be TR is equal to 4 or 6. Therefore, TR is considered as a 5 mm. Thickness of each rib is considered as a or calculated as a 5 mm. Next one is a piston rings. So, the number of compression rings are usually 3 or 4. So, the compression rings equal to 3 and oil ring is equal to 1. Next one is a radial thickness of piston ring TR is equal to sigma R, sigma BR, that is a piston ring stress into three times PW by sigma BR. Therefore, material for piston ring is a cast iron. Therefore, sigma BR is equal to 100 Newton per mm square. So, since here for Piston ring metal cast iron, sigma BR is always lies between the 90 to 120 Newton per mm square. Therefore, PW is equal to 0 0.04 Newton per mm square. So, putting the value will get the radial thickness of the piston ring is equal to the 3.464 mm. So, the round value of the thickness of the piston ring is equal to the 3.5. Next is the axial width of the piston ring is equal to uh, BR is equal to 0 0.75 TR to 1 TR. Therefore, BR is equal to putting the value of TR. So, you will get the BR that is nothing but the uh, axial width of the piston ring equal to 3 mm. Then number of piston rings. So, it depends on the BR. So, BR is equal to T upon 10 times Z. Therefore, BR is equal to 100 upon 10 into 4. So, uh, take the... Uh, Larger BR value as a 3 mm, putting the value, we will get calculate the uh, Z is equal to 4 rings, therefore BR is equal to 3 mm are the final values. Number of piston rings. Uh, ne next is the width of the lands between piston ring rules P1. So for that formula is 0 0.75 BR to 1 BR. So BR is uh, considered or calculated as a 
3 mm. So it will come as a 2.5 mm, but we assume it as a 3 mm. Therefore, the V1 will be equal to 2.25 to 3 mm, putting the value of dr is equal to 3. So the final value of V1, that is nothing but the width of the land between the piston ring group is equal to 2.25. Then width of the top land is equal to VO is equal to 1 into TPH to 1.25 into TPH. Therefore, putting the value, we will get the VO is equal to 15 mm. Then next one is the gap between the free end rings. So GR is equal to 3 times TR to 4 times TR. So that will be equal to 12.5 to 40. So the GR, that is the gap between the free end rings is um, considered as a 12 or calculated as a 12 mm. Next one is the design of piston skirt. So let PVC for cast iron is always equal to the, that is the piston skirt, uh, cast iron 0.5 for high speed and 0.3 for low speed. So PVC is equal to 0.4 considered. Therefore, RN is equal to LPPS into D into PVC. So here we calculate the LPPS as a uh, 58.90 mm. So LPS is equal to the 60 mm. Then length of the piston. So the length of the piston is calculated by the formula. Width of the top land, then the total width of plus total width of the piston ring plus total width of the land plus length of the piston skull lp s therefore lp is equal to bo plus zbr plus z minus 1 dot b1 plus lps so putting the value you will get the lp is equal to 94.5 mm therefore lp is equal to 95 mm then reinforcing a rip design so here tbr is equal to 1 by 3 tph to 1 by 2 tph that is nothing but thickness of piston one third of the piston head thickness to one half of the piston head thickness. Putting the value, you will get the reinforcing rib, uh, thickness is equal to 5 mm. Then piston pin design, maximum gas pressure we consider as a Fg max is equal to pi by 4 d square into P max. So Fg max is equal to pi by 4 into d is the bore diameter 100 mm and maximum pressure is a 3 newton per mm square. So the Fg, Fg max is equal to 20. Uh, 2300 23561.94 newton therefore fg max is equal to l1 into dp into pb so here length of the piston pin is in the connecting rod of bearing is l1 is equal to 0 0.45 d so that will be equal to uh, l1 is equal to 45 mm next is the diameter of piston So the diameter of piston pin as the metal is cast iron so pp is equal to 10 to 15 we have to take so pp is 12 is taken therefore fg max is equal to l1 into dp into pp so putting all the value you get the dp is equal to 43.63 mm so that will be equal to 44 mm next we have to calculate the di diameter of piston pin therefore di is equal to 0.6 dp so putting the value you get the diameter of the piston pin is equal to 27 mm Next, we have to check the failure for the shear. So, yep, G max is equal to 2 times pi by 4 dp square minus di square into tau. So, putting the value, we will get the tau is equal to 12.43. So, nearly equal to the shear failure, that is the shear stress is equal to 13 newton per mm square. Next, there as the tau is a, that is the shear failure is a, uh, less than the allowable stress so design is safe so the shear allowable shear stress is uh, considered as a 80 mm or given as a 80 mm so our value is come as a 30 newton so that will be our design is the same next uh, length l2 is equal to l1 plus d minus l1 by 2 so putting all the value you will get the length l2 is equal to 72.5 mm so checking for the bending failure sigma bp uh, is equal to 4 times fg max into d into dp by pi into d raised to 4 minus pi raised to 4. Putting all the value you get the bending failure bending stress is equal to 41.04 newton per mm square. So in this way we can uh, design the piston based on the strength and based on the heat dissipation. Thank you for watching the design of the piston topic.